What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mid Hunter Comics, and I've got a whopper of a CGC submission for you guys. No exaggeration, this is a really good one. I've sent 19 Silver Age books out to get graded by CGC. At the same time, put just two moderns out just to get custom labels. That was actually the tail end of a different submission, but it showed up today. So I'll start with that, even though it's not related to the Silver Age. Let's do that first. We've got the first appearance of the Mangaverse and the manga version of Spider-Man. That is number one, getting the custom label. Uh, it's a nice little value on that book, and I actually just did go ahead and put that up on eBay. That is a beaut. Let's keep it going. And the second modern book I have, and second and last modern book, is the first appearance of Spider-Gwen. Bought this in a collection at the very beginning of the year, and um, this was one of those complete surprise books. We looked at the books that he had. This is not one of the ones in there, and upon finding it, I actually sent him some more money. Um, so here we go. I was hoping it would get the 9.8. Did get the 9.6. That's okay. Got the custom label and everything. That is a hell of a 9.6, and I still have enough meat on the bone to make a little profit on that. Let's get to the Silver Age, though. As big as that is, we've got bigger stuff. First up is, I think, the only Bronze Age one, 1974. Tomb Dracula 25, first appearance of Hannibal King, getting a 7.5, respectable grade. Don't think I made money. I probably broke even on that one, but that's okay. I will tell you right now, of this entire submission, everything is right about what I thought it would be. There were only two real disappointments, and that's pretty good. For there to only be two disappointments in a whole batch, I think that's pretty good. So let's keep it going. How about a Batman, number 224 from 1970. Uh, it does have a date stamp on it, and I think that did hurt the grade. But we're still looking good. Letter from Martin Posco. That is an 8-0 with white pages right there. And honestly, if I think it wasn't for that little date stamp, it would have been higher. It's a ridiculously sharp-looking book. Really happy about that. Let's keep it going. Next up is going to be... Oh, <laughs> jeez. Batman 227. Iconic cover here. Uh, that is obviously an homage to that one comic from 1940 or whatever. This is the classic Neil Adams cover that everyone loves. I said it would be a 7-0. Looks like it got a 7-0, so I was right on the money on that one. That's got a nice little chunk of value there, too. Uh, this one's been fully pressed, fully cleaned, so it looks like that is the best grade this could have gotten, and I'm very happy with that. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we have Batman 231. This is from 1971. Now, this is a, a Neil Adams cover with an all-black spine, but it was just, despite those risks, I did send it off. thought it was so nice. I thought it was in the nines, honestly, and it got the 9.2. And to be frank with you, it looks even better than a 9.2. It looks basically perfect. So that is an insane book. The funny thing is the value on this isn't that crazy. So as amazing of a grade that is, it's actually fairly affordable. So that's also up on eBay. Batman 235. Now this is the second appearance of Ra's al Ghul and Talia al Ghul. I also think it's just an absolutely gorgeous cover. It's another Neil Adams. Absolutely gorgeous. I thought it would get an 8.5 and it got the nine. So let's hear a hell yes on that one. Very nice right there. And uh, I did send this to my presser and he did a very good job on this one. So I'm really happy about that. And that is one of those, that's got to be one of my favorite Batman covers. That those like 69 through 72 Neil Adams stuff, man. That's, it's hard to beat. Uh, it looks like we got another Neil Adams here. Uh, Batman 236. Uh, that is The Ghost Bride, just an iconic, kind of horror-esque book right there with Neil Adams. Once again, I said it was about an 8.5, and it got the 9. So we're actually doing a little bit better than our anticipations, so that's awesome. Let's keep it going. We've got a Batman. Uh, this is the controversial one, 246. That's not Neil Adams. Yeah, Dick Giordano. Uh, this one is the controversial Robin hanging himself cover right there. That's pretty cool. And he got the white pages 9.4. That's a hell of a grade right there. I'm a big fan of that. Some of the stuff I might have to think long and hard about being in the PC. 
Oh boy, decisions, decisions. Next up, we're gonna have a Batman, uh, 197. This is from 1967 right here. It's considered a classic Batgirl and Catwoman cover. You also don't see Catwoman in that particular suit on covers, certainly very often at all. I'm having a hard time thinking of any, to be honest. Uh, Batman 197, that's the new uh, suit and uh, classic cover. And it got an 8-0, which I think is fantastic right there. I was actually hoping for an 8.5 on that, but I will definitely take an 8-0. It looks gorgeous. Let's keep it going. Next up, we've got Batman 202 from 1968. And this is one of two grades that were complete upsets. Um, we got a 6.5. Did get white pages, but it was a 6.5. Now, that is, like I said... That's an upset. I was hoping for an 8.5 on that, just like the, the rest of my predictions for a lot of these. So I'll have to check out the grader's notes, see what you know went, went down on that one. But it just makes it more affordable, so let's keep it going. Next up, well, that's a good grade. Wow, okay. We've got Batman 204. This is an absolutely gorgeous cover. Uh, Irv Novik cover from 1968. We've got a... 9.2. Batman from the 60s getting 9.2, man. I knew these books were sharp. When I used to collect Batman, uh, well, I always am collecting Batman, but there was a period where I started really getting into the high-grade stuff, and uh, I'm glad I did, because we're getting some pretty sharp-looking grades right here. How about a Batman 207 from 1968? I actually have two of these suckers. Um, and uh, one got the 9-0, and the other one also got the 9-0. Now, I do think that one of them was a little bit nicer than the other, so it goes back to what I always say. Never submit the same book twice. Um, sometimes I have definitely felt like there is a bad egg that ruins it for the other book. I thought one was like a 9, and I thought the other one was a 9-4. They both got the 9. Whatever. I don't care this much just because these books are so old and it's so ridiculous to even get a 9 that I'm good with it. Batman 210 from 1969, first appearance of the Feline Furies, and just a cover I genuinely really love. This is probably maybe my favorite or second favorite from the submission. We've got a 9-0 with white pages right there. First Feline Furies. Classic Catwoman cover, I think, as well. This is an absolutely gorgeous book. If there's going to be a PC book, it might have to be that one. I've also got a Batman 215. Looks like another White Pages, I see. From 1969 on this one, getting a nine White Pages. It is hard to get these books all the way up into the nine range, and it is beautiful to see them. Man, this is, this is awesome. Next up, we've got a round of the showcase. So 55, this one of all the showcases, this one was the lower grade. I said it would be a 5.5, five, and it actually got a 5.5. Five. It is the first solo Green Lantern in the Silver Age. That's the Golden Age Green Lantern in a Silver Age book. But it's also the first appearance of the Silver Age Solomon Grundy. First Solomon Grundy since the Golden Age. Uh, First Silver Age, Solomon Grundy, and Origin of Our Man and Dr. Fate. There's a lot going on in this book. This is a nice book. Um, I pegged it at a 5.5. Five. I was sort of hoping for a 6, but that's okay. Next up, we got Showcase, number 73, First Appearance of the Creeper. I actually have two copies of this book right now. This is uh, 1968, First Creeper. Slight grade disappointment on that one. I thought for sure that was in the 7s, and it did get a 6.5. Little surprised by that one, that's okay. Let's keep it going. Next up is the showcase. This is the first appearance of Hawk and Dove. This is number 75. This is the second real upset. And there were, like I said, there were only two grade upsets in here. I pegged this at like a 9.2. It's just that nice. And they actually gave me a seven. Um, so I'm not sure what happened there. It presents like a 9.8. I'm not kidding. I like literally from the front, this thing looks flawless. So whatever, uh, I got a seven on that. So that was a big grade upset, uh, but there were only two. And frankly, a lot of stuff today has been a grade or two higher than I thought. So we'll take it. Second to last book is we do have Showcase 56. This was another favorite of mine from this submission and I was very happy with the grade. I think I said I thought this one would get 
uh, eight at the absolute best, and actually got the eight five. Now this is the first appearance of Psycho Pirate, and that's the Roger Hayden Psycho Pirate that we all actually know that played a part in the Batman stories with Tom King recently, that played a part in uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is that Psycho Pirate. There was a Psycho Pirate in the Golden Age. This is the one with that costume and that name that we all know. That's a hell of a book right there, and eight five white pages. I couldn't have asked for better on this one. And let's go ahead and show you what I think is the best book in the submission is Charlton Comics Blue Beetle number one. This is actually the first appearance of the question. There he is down there at the bottom right there with a story titled, Who is the Question? I bought for something like $200. I don't even remember where or how. But this ended up being a really freaking good investment because we got a whopper of a grade on this one. We actually pulled out the 9.2 with the first appearance of the question. That's a $1,000 plus book. Nice and easy. Very nice. And I will have to tell you guys, I did put it on eBay when I first got the pictures in. But I had to pull it from eBay because someone did reach out to me. This book is already sold. So... Have to say, I do think uh, I'm going to miss this one quite a bit. Blue Beetle number one. Let me just take a second and look at it. Yeah, that, that is a hell of a grade for a book like that. And the funny thing is, I think it should be way more expensive than that, but that's just me. Guys, this was a hell of a submission. I can't wait to do more for you. It is, it's fun to do the moderns, but getting the Silver Age stuff is just... There's nothing like it, man. The only thing that is honestly probably better is Golden Age. So, having a lot of fun out here. I hope you enjoyed. I love you all. I'm taking a quick vacation, but I'm dropping these videos as I go while I'm gone. I'll see you next week at the claim sales and at the videos, and keep on hunting. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles, where I'm set up with all of my comics, located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.